Welcome everybody to Rayman 2. Shut the fuck up. We're talking. Uh, oh. That's a little rude. Did that, yeah, that's... No, wait a minute. So this is take place before or after Sega Sonic Arcade. The Hedgehog. It's a good joke. I'm gonna lose. Oh, God, David. <laughs> <laughs> so joining us today is David. <laughs> David and only David. David yeah. Tiberius Lurker. Uh, oh, that's pretty shit. You know, for like, I, sometimes I think we could literally just invite David, uh -huh. say nothing, <laughs> and he would just feel the commentary for 20 minutes per part, <laughs> talking, talking about like Song of the Hedgehog law or Star Wars oh, or something man. terrible Let's like that. Let's test this theory, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Right, is this part coming out before or after Han Solo comes out? I don't know. The fine comes out. Um, well, you know, when Han Solo finally comes out of the closet. <laughs> hey, Han... Waka waka! Uh, Han X Lando, OTP. Which, which Star Wars has Star-Lord? Oh, uh... <laughs> God damn it. That's, uh... The... Come and get your love. No, the Guardians of the Wars. The, Gar the Guardians of the Wills. The Wars, the Wills. Man. <laughs> Steven, what do you what do you hate the most? Uh, Marvel movies, Star Wars, or the Muppets? Oh my god! <laughs> How could you hate any? You, you know, I was watching The Last Jedi. Uh, when when I was watching it, I was mm -hmm. just like, you know, I'd much rather be watching Guardians of the Galaxy right now. I heard you weren't. Uh. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Wait, so so Steven, have you seen so have you seen every single Star Wars movie or just like the main ones? Nah, man, I've I've seen fucking Ewok movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh really? A caravan of courage and the battle for Endor? Dude, it's 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 fucking weird that you you like you trash like the Muppets, but the fucking Ewok movie's fine. A fucking Ewok movie is is cinema perfection. <laughs> <laughs> it was so perfect, it was only released in cinemas in Australia. See, people, this is this is why you can't take Smoothie's opinion seriously. He hates Sonic Mania and thinks the Ewok movie is good. I'm still waiting for Ewok Mania. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, there was an Ewok movie. Whoa! Yeah, there were two. Yeah, it was it was straight. It was yeah. Well, are, are you referring to the live action ones yeah. or the animated ones? The live action one with the kids. Live action one. Yeah. Right. The the animated one doesn't count because that's just three episodes stitched together that was released on home video. Just like. Well, well with, David, to be fair, the Clone Wars movie was that, but it's still canon. You can't just ignore it because it's well, shit. Well, no, 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 no. I'm saying the animated Ewoks movie isn't really a movie. It's just three episodes of the show glued together, like how they used to do that when VHS was king. They would take three episodes of a show and glue it together and call it a movie, but it wasn't a real Mighty, movie. Mighty Max the movie, where it was the opening two-parter. Right, exactly. And, 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 and a random third episode, so it's like they kind of they kind of solved the conflict two-thirds of the way into the movie. It's like, ah, this, <laughs> this is a weird, this, like, this, this is a weird twist where they fight something completely weird now. Or like Sonic the Hedgehog. The first five episodes of the 80s TMNT show is the second best TMNT movie. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I would, uh, oh, whoa, oh, third best. Yeah, third. So the, the 90s movie, uh... Tools Forever. Yeah, Tools Forever. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess you would count that as a movie, even though it wasn't theatrical. That is a, that is a movie. But yeah. It, 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 it's good, though, because Tur Turtles Forever was, was written to be a, a movie first, which the, they then split up into, like, episodes for TV, as opposed to, say, the Futurama, like, DVD movies, which were made to be four episodes put together to form a movie, and that's why Turtles Forever, the narrative of Turtles Forever functions better as a as a movie versus some of the future episodes where it, it, it's just like, why is this character introduced for 20 minutes, then late leaves, and then why is another character introduced for 20 minutes, then leaves? It, they, they don't, I, I wish, I kind of wish they put more thought into those straight to DVD movies to function more like movies and not just four parters. Right. You heard it here first. Ninja Turtles is better than Futurama. Yes, in every possible way. Uh, I agree. Bender's big score, th that one works the best as a movie. All the rest I mean, of them... The, aside, from, aside from the first... The uh, fourth, where there's a subplot where Bender dating the mobster's girlfriend, which goes nowhere. Yeah, I think th I think I think Into the Wild Green Yonder works pretty well. I mean, like, um, Bender's game is a train wreck. Yeah, I, I would say Bender's game is the worst. Beast of a Billion Bags is probably the funniest, but it doesn't really work as a movie yeah. at all. I, I don't think I've seen any of them. Who's Ewok? 
Who is Ewok? <laughs> <laughs> Steven's Ewok. Yeah, the, the Ewoks are are the creatures. Oh that... god, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, uh, in Return of the Jedi, <laughs> when the uh, when the rebellion is going to the, the forest moon of Endor because they need to stop the Empire and the Darth uh, the de- uh, the Darth Star the Death Star. Uh, excuse me. The Darth Star. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Lurker, uh, how many how many uh, would you say approximate uh, Ewok figurines uh, do you own uh, currently in your uh, collection? Uh, I mean, I guess it depends on your definition of figurine, because I wouldn't call an action figure a figurine. They're 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 action figures. You can pose them into action poses. You can have the Ewoks attack all of uh, the stormtroopers that you have. <laughs> I'm learning so much. Uh, was I this bad with Disney? Infinity. <laughs> David, how many how many porgs do you own? Uh, I actually don't own any porgs. Sad. Good because they ruined the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I might I might uh, no no because I didn't get a standalone ray. David, do you think Return of the Jedi mm-hmm. would have been better if Lucas had kept to his original idea where Endor was supposed to be the Wookiee home planet? Um. I, it, it, yes. Oh, Stefan, we're not asking you. Is your name David? Is your fucking name David, Stefan? <laughs> I don't think you'll shut the fuck up for once. <laughs> yeah, Beffin. God, every time I tweet about Star Wars, I can guarantee Stefan's going to be my fucking mentions. <laughs> It probably would have worked a bit better because one, I mean, it wouldn't have been Endor. It would have been K- 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 Kashyyyk, Kashyyyk, whatever the fuck you pronounce yeah, it. Kashyyyk, yeah. It also, right, it also would have made more sense that the Wookiees would be able to defeat the, the Empire right. versus the fucking teddy bears of rocks and sticks. Oh, yeah. Right, because also thematically it all ties together because you have, you know, like you have, I mean, Chewbacca's in all three films. Uh, the backstory <laughs> for Han Solo has always been like that Han Solo was part of the Empire for a brief period of time, but he defected when he rescued Chewbacca from enslavement, and that's why he has the life debt, and that's why they're all hanging out. So to have them actually be on Kashyyyk... Is this what it's like when I talk to you people, <laughs> and you ignore me? No, because David's entertaining. Would have been... <laughs> Yeah, it would, it would have been, I think, a more powerful moment. Now, I mean, you can argue that, oh, you have the Ewoks, they are uh, more primitive than the Wookiees are, and that there there can be something to be said about the, th- the themes of, oh, this primitive culture is able to assist in overtaking, uh, like, this technological monstrosity that is the Empire, but... I mean, and, and it's not like the Ewoks just walk in and sweep the floor with everyone. You do see them get hurt. You do see them die. No, there, you see just... one die. You see exactly one Ewok die, <laughs> which is not fucking enough. Right. But, I mean, at the end of the day, they went with Ewoks because they would sell more toys. Yes. Even though, really, it's only... Um, oh, no. Why can't I think of his name? It's escaping me. Uh, Rock Davis? Yeah, the, the, the Ewok Wicket. that he played. Wicket. Wicket. Like, he's the cutest one. The others, if you look at them, are a little scary. So you, you like, you you market everything based on Wicket, but everyone else is kind of like, ooh. <laughs> David, David's just revealed his secret fear of Ewoks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you were just walking in a forest, then 20 of those little buggers just surrounded you with spears... You might shit your pants. I would think I'm at a convention. <laughs> <laughs> if the Ewoks were so good, how come they were canceled? <laughs> David, what's scarier? Uh-huh. The Ewoks or the live-action Winnie the Pooh in the Christopher Robin trailer? Because that's just fucking scary. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The way his fucking mouth moves is unrealistic and I don't like it. Aw. I don't know. I mean... Do you find Ted scary? Who? Ted from Brain Scratch. No, no, I find I, I, I find Ted annoying. He's the worst member of Brain Scratch. <laughs> <laughs> waka waka. <laughs> Is that Ted's catchphrase? It's just TJ has just this, this weird tick now where he says that after fucking anyone says anything now. Would Star Wars be better if Darth Vader was made of bees? Would Star Wars be better if Darth Vader was what? Make believe? Made of bees? Made of bees. <laughs> it would have it would have made the throne room seem very interesting. <laughs> Mila, the last movie when he takes the helmet off and it's just a bunch of bees. <laughs> The, the, but the best thing is that when, when Luke sets him on fire, he just burned a bunch of bees. 
like all that honey went to waste. <laughs> instead of instead of force when people think he's force choking someone, he just sends a bee into the person's neck and they can't breathe anymore. <laughs> <laughs> instead of instead of Obi Wan fighting Anakin over a pit of lava, he's fighting him over honey. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he becomes a bee. Your father, your your father was a good man. Buzzable. <laughs> <laughs> I really want, I really want the prequels, but Anakin is just a pile of bees. <laughs> <laughs> I can sense a lot of anger in the boy. <laughs> 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 That's the reason why he's attracted to the queen. Because she's made of honey. What? <laughs> I can understand now why he hates sand. Flowers don't grow very well in the desert. <laughs> this is too good. I wish I wish those assholes that made the male only Star Wars would make this instead. <laughs> I don't I don't want beef. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I slaughtered them all, the wasps, the wasp children, the wasp babies. So when when Luke cuts off the arm, a whole bunch of bees fly out of Vader, surround the Emperor, and that's why he falls down the shaft. <laughs> like, ah! Oh! I like it. So is Kylo Ren's mask just a bunch of bees? He, he takes it off, he's just got this giant, like, stung face. <laughs> So he, he he takes off his mask and he's cosplaying as a bee because he was the bee's grandfather. <laughs> oh man! And then he, when he's instead of looking at the mask, it's just a burnt out uh, beehive. <laughs> Patri uh, Disney, give us, can make us, let us make a fucking Star Wars movie where if he wants bees, you set your shit. You give it fucking movie deals to every other jerk off in Hollywood. Give us one. I'll, I'll, I'll make one or seven films. And you're a guy, so they will. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Most of us in the school are white men, so we're most likely to get a business deal from Disney. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I like to pitch my, my Star Wars. Hired. <laughs> you have the next trilogy. <laughs> oh, I guess I didn't have to pitch it. <laughs> <laughs> How many trilogies do they have going on after this new one? Seven. <laughs> there is the Ryan Johnson for, uh, trilogy, which he may or may not direct one or three. We, we don't know, and we don't know what it's about. <laughs> the showrunners of Game of Thrones are working on a quote-unquote series of films, which doesn't specify if it's a trilogy or not. So there's two there, and I'm sure we're going to get some more standalone films. Uh, and, and then there's the TV show that Jon Favreau... Is, is leading now. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be another animated show. Uh, you still got the comics, uh, the books. Uh, you've got your video games, although EA uh, Star ruined Wars that. needs to die. Star Wars can't die. Star Wars is 40 years old. Star Wars is wonderful. And Star Wars and the MCU needs to go the way of the Muppets and be cancelled forever. <laughs> and then Steven will finally be happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little mean. No, I mean, the fact that three films didn't just speak to a generation, but continued to well, live beyond... Two and a half like, movies. But, oh, the Jesus. fact that B-movies continues to speak to a generation <laughs> says Are we nothing. serenading Star Wars now? David is. I'm serenading B-movie. <laughs> well, I mean, the B-movie, of course, is better than the trilogy combined. <laughs> but, but, he said it! <laughs> Luke, but I mean, really, do what, you what, like jazz? <laughs> <laughs> Obi Wan, Obi Wan never told. He told me the truth. He told me you invented jazz. That's no. not true. <laughs> I hate jazz. No. <laughs> Do any of you like jazz? <laughs> yeah, I like jazz. I like jazz. I like jazz. It okay. Can we? Can we? Can we just? Can we just end the part when David just ends it? Does anyone like jazz? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but there's still. Some... I do enjoy the Sonic Unleashed Night soundtrack. Oh, ooh, yeah. Except you never get to hear it because it's just the battle theme forever. Uh, 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 why? Why? Aaron, Aaron Sands Night is sex persona <laughs> personified as music. Devon, have you ever had sex? <laughs> <laughs> Gareth, do you want to field this one first? Um, <laughs> does, does having sex with a bee count? <laughs> yes. I would 
think putting your dick in a beehive would be painful? Dude, that's that's why that's why you've never gotten laid by a bunch of bees because you don't because you're too much of a coward. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Oh you know? no. That, that beehive looked at Gareth's dick and said, "I respect this man." <laughs> <laughs> No, sir, I don't like it. So, so, I, I got a question. What's your question? Would it be bad to, to be bee size and then fuck a bee? Or a bee be human size? Okay, if a bee was human size, I would probably have a stroke. Or <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you be stroking while looking at it? I think. But the so, what the so, Miwa, are you asking if it's less weird? If we were able to shrink down to bee size, the fucker bee, or if the bee was able to grow the human side, even when you look at it, it's fucked up. Yes. You know, I don't think I don't think it matters what goes what. Um, I don't know. I because if you shrink down, it's probably easier to fly around, right? Because you weigh less. If we if we if we shrink down. Uh huh. Do we meet me well? Because I need to. Because obviously you are in charge of this of this weird scientific horror. Yes. <laughs> if we if we sh if we shrink down, right? Do we get to keep the strength we have full size? So if the bee starts getting too rowdy, a single smack would kill it. Or if the bee if the bee grows high, is he like Spider Man, where he'll have the proportional strength of a bee and become un become unstoppable because of because of how big he gets. Unstoppable. Uh <laughs> No, you would become as strong as a bee. And <laughs> a bee would be as strong as human. What? Well, which human though? Because if it becomes as strong as like Mike Tyson, we're fucked. <laughs> but if it becomes as strong as like Stefan, I think we're I think we're pretty good. Wow. <laughs> I, I mean, I know it's true, but that doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the size of the bee you want to fuck. Hmm. So I have to, I have to choose between my my want of fucking a really big bee and my fear of a really big bee of a power in me. Gareth, no, maybe you can, <laughs> Gareth, maybe you can answer on on the next part. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, we'll, we'll keep everyone in suspense, and I'll let you know which way I choose to fuck a bee in part two. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.